Hello everybody and welcome to Muscle Out Live with Peter and Andrew, as we often do on a Sunday evening. Yeah. Uh, you're right, Andrew. Do you want to say hello to everybody while I share this post and make sure we get the word no. out there that we're uh, online? No. Do I want to say hello to it? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Well, hello uh, everybody. I have to speak up on this microphone. Yeah, yeah, because it, as you might have seen, it's a new microphone. So I said to Andrew, Andrew, you've got to speak up on this. You know, I'm, I'm always coming up with kind of, come on, Andrew, we've got to sort this out. So may, may as well shout and pretend, almost pretend that I'm on stage. <laughs> <laughs> We're working our way again to the main theme of what we often talk about, Andrew studies drama and doing his drama stuff <laughs> which actually is probably just an added thing that makes him quite rare <laughs> quite possibly yeah uh, so um, but yeah hello to everybody that's, that's and what. in fact we'll just start off by saying the theme of today's chat uh, we thought we'd talk about da -da -da -da, Red Z's Day uh, yes. that, that's that's this Tuesday that's in fact this year's poster for um, good little poster. Red Diseases it's good little poster yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, okay. and, and actually on, on the back we've printed out some of the uh, some of the key facts about Red Diseases because we just thought well in fact we thought we'd do a fun episode as we always try and do because obviously muscle art talks can be a bit serious sometimes so when me and Andrew when we go live we just like to kind of Put a different spin on things. Try so, to be a bit like the Chuckle Brothers. A bit like but the Chuckle not, Brothers. Not the Chuckle Brothers. Not not the Chuckle Brothers. Are we the Chuckle Brothers of Muscle Owl? Could that could could that be it? Could that work? <laughs> we await some <laughs> feedback on Nadine, that. Nadine, we've got a message from Nadine. She says, "Hi guys, hope you're well. Uh, looking looking well. Do you mean me or Andrew? Surely, I mean, surely, I, don't, I don't know how I'm doing. Surely, just both of us. Very <laughs> fair, isn't it? The two of us together." Brothers in arms. <laughs> Chuckle Brothers, as he says. Yeah. Uh, right, Chuckle anyway. Chuckle Brothers look, in arms. Per perhaps. But perhaps. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, basically, obviously, as many people will know, oh, both, she says both. She doesn't want to pick favourites. Yeah, Although we all, we all know the favourites. <laughs> yeah, we all. Uh, so, basically, yeah, we thought we'd chat a little bit about Red Diseases Day, because, again, that's on Tuesday. And it's important that we raise awareness for Red Diseases because there are so many factors. I mean, Andrew, you weren't diagnosed with the condition you had till you were four years old, partly because it doesn't become obvious for a long time until you're about four and you're like, why can't I run very fast yet? But at the same rate, when you were taken to the doctors, it was like, no, nah, no, it's fine. And it's only time and time when it's pushed and pushed. And the reason is because rare diseases, there's so many of them and they're so hard to diagnose. Do you not, do you not think that's, that's a problem, isn't it? Yeah, and, and sometimes the amount of time it takes to, for somebody to be diagnosed uh, can be a bit tedious at times. Mm, I mean, we're thinking here about our good friend Vivek Gohill, who I'm sure he won't mind us saying. Uh, I think he was diagnosed at the age of nine of Duchenne muscular dystrophy, so it had been misdiagnosis uh, uh, right along the way. So that can be uh, really tough. You're right, John. Yeah. How are you doing? John Hasty's joined us, Andrew. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Say say hello. <laughs> uh, so Welcome. you're right, John. Welcome so up. yeah, yeah, we were just talking Red Disease Day, and we were in fact talking most specifically about how Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a rare disease and why some of the uh, problems can arise from the fact that it is so rare. And in fact, we thought we'd just we were going to start with this because we said, hey, this is the hook that will get people to watch and keep watching. But we we didn't end up starting with it. We 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 launched right but in. It didn't matter. But it doesn't matter. We can do it now. If anyone, if if anyone's kind of looking for a hook, we thought, how can we make rare disease fun, uh, and then talk about it? We thought we we've got a pizza that we we've have. been wanting to eat for a long time, but, and but not just any any old pizza. Not any old pizza. What no type way. of pizza is it? It's a rare pizza. It's. Well, it'll be revealed, won't it? <laughs> I think that's the best way of doing things. It's a chocolate pizza, we'll okay. say, just just before they get very worried. Uh, yeah. So, okay. so fair yeah, fair. this this is... Uh, sorry, the camera's bouncing around a little bit today. This is the chocolate pizza that we've got, uh, and we thought it would be most appropriate. We were going to eat it together for a while on one of our Muscle Owl lives. We thought it would be most appropriate if we eat it on a Red Diseases Day, because it's a rare pizza. It can oh, be a rare yeah. pizza, rare pizza Sunday. 
before Rare Diseases Day Tuesday, yeah? Andrew's going to tell, tell us how it tastes, yeah. partly because I'm his brother and I'd rather he taste it before I do, in case it's rubbish. <laughs> okay. here, here we go, taste test. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. I was taking a big piece. That's, that's a confident, confident there. <laughs> oh, oh, is it good? Is it not good? Moment of truth. All will be revealed. Taste of chocolate. Tastes of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nadine, 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 says, Nadine says, pizza good. That's the most important thing here. Nadine also says, uh, if, you, if you have a smart doctor, you can catch it early. And that's, that's the thing. It is about, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, it was consultants who uh, kind of uh, diagnosed it. And you, is that smart? Like, you want smart? I'm, I'm going to taste the, the, the rare pizza now, the rare chocolate pizza. Yeah, here we I'm go. not overly convinced, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. um, I bet you are. Mm, it tastes a bit continental. And this is something you I might suppose. get in a... In a French Spanish breakfast, I'm gonna. I like it. I like it. If anyone uh, I feel wants, like I kind of like it. Andrew feels like he kind of I likes it. Really I think he can be persuaded. There we go. We've got a bit more for later. It's a bit gooey. <laughs> it's got That's bits of brownies on it and everything else. Less impression of that. <laughs> but try it. That's worth worth trying. I'm sure I'll force Andrew to eat another slice later. Yeah, he probably will. Here's a stat about Red Disease Day, that, or Red Disease in general, that before we were coming on air, I was just going through a few stats with Andrew, and we said, in the EU, as many as 30 million people may be affected by one of over 6,000 existing rare diseases. And that's the thing, Andrew's response was, when I said 30 million people in the EU m could have a rare disease, what did you think? Uh, Quite a lot. Quite a lot. In fact, he goes, what? It's not very rare then, is it? Eh? Eh? No, don't say <laughs> That's but, you know, terrible. <laughs> but that's, that's the thing. I think, um, yeah. that, I think the thing is um, that we don't realise that there are so many different types of rare diseases that all of them together make up quite a lot of people. It's just this, I mean, you know, lots of people have muscular dystrophy, but not lots of people have Duchenne muscular dystrophy, congenital muscular dystrophy, spinal muscular atrophy, yeah. limb girdle muscular right, yeah. dystrophy. So in their entireties, they all don't have, don't have too many people. So, and this can be part of the problem, is as we were, I mean, I mean the key theme of this year is research. And one of the biggest problems can be research into conditions, rare diseases, it can be really tough because it's just really hard yeah. to, to, to get funding if yeah. you don't have many participants that can take part in the study. Yeah, but yeah, that's why um, so research is such an important thing. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. And I, I, I mean, we saw it recently last year with Exxon Disc 51, something that had, had, had seemingly proved really well, but they only had 12 children in the study, and the reason for that was that there really weren't enough people with the specific Exxon mutation that could take part in that study. So it really comes down to it, you know, how do we provide cures and treatments for rare diseases, how do we fund research for rare, uh, for rare diseases, and it, it really is just about communicating that extra struggle that's involved. Um, I see Michaela's just yeah, joined absolutely. us. Hey Michaela, and, and in fact I bring this in because Michaela was part of uh, Muscle Out Talks episode that we recorded this morning, which is going to be out on Tuesday. Tune in for that. It's a very good one with uh, Fiona from the Northern Ireland Rare Diseases Partnership. And uh, one of the things that we mentioned here was, in fact Fiona mentioned, that one of the recent uh, treatments that's come out for one of the rare diseases that she was talking about, it has benefits for Alzheimer's patients. So all of a sudden, it goes right out there to a larger array of people and can get more funding. And, and it helps um, a lot of other people as well. Yeah, exactly. So, sometimes already. So free market economics, that's what we've always got to think about. Uh, so 
that's the thing, and we're starting to see it with uh, drugs for Duchenne muscular dystrophy too. If we look at the CRISPR therapy, AAV therapy, we're talking here about something that could is, is looking at being used for particular cancer treatments, similar to with uh, the, the treatments behind, uh, well, similarly with nucinersin for SMA. So it's all very interesting stuff. Sure is. Daryl. Daryl, you say I don't get uh, any help with my condition, just left to cope on my own. I mean, that's certainly something that we see with a lot of people with rare conditions, because it's so hard. I mean, if, if we have very common, uh, you know, things like cancer and Alzheimer's, you know, there can be wide groups, wide networks that can help you know lots of yeah. things across the board and 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 well i mean that's what we try and do with muscle oh, muscular dystrophy is rare in its lots of different forms so i think it's really important that we try and get yeah. the word out there. i think some people that yeah, sometimes do even myself feel like that like you're on your own quite a bit but if a collective yeah. group of people get together like like muscle oh, like different um people to get together um it's, it's always good. It's a network, I suppose. Yeah. And do you I know that you're not alone. <laughs> We're going to get a little deep here. Do, do, you, do you ever true. feel like you're like you're on your own because not a lot of other people have Duchenne muscular dystrophy? Yeah, a little bit. Do you feel yeah. special, positive? In society. Or? Sometimes you do feel a bit left out a little bit. But, mm. uh, you know, I'm always positive about stuff anyway, so I always think, well, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. It's always okay, really. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's the th key thing that we're talking about here is realizing that you know, 30 million people in the EU have a rare condition. It, a lot people are grouping together. Exactly, people really? are grouping yeah. together. You realize that we're all, you know, everyone's rare on their own, and it's just about kind yeah, of yeah, it's being about that, that awareness as well. Mm. That's when you don't feel people are made to feel less alone. And it definitely helps them. Yeah, we're all in this, in this, in this thing together. Exactly. So it's about you know in that aspect, forming forming teams, forming groups, uh, forming partnerships, communities where we can work together. Um, and as Nadine said, they're very rightly so. I think there are strides being made. We just have to keep pushing forward with awareness. And I can say Nadine definitely does that over in uh, Florida, over in the states, with all the stuff she does for the MBA. Yeah, and um, keep being positive as well. Keep being positive. Keep, Very important thing with all disease. Keep going. <laughs> it's fine. We'll get there. <laughs> uh, yeah, just looking through some, some of the other stuff on uh, the rare disease website. They talk about common problems faced, uh, the lack of scientific knowledge and quality information on the disease often results in delay in diagnosis. We've spoken about that. Um, you know, that, that's, that, that's you know, something that can, has affected many people that we've known delay in diagnosis. Um, also, the need for appropriate health care or quality health care engenders inequalities and difficulties in access to treatment and care. As was just said above, uh, so many people can uh, get unequal access to treatment and care or not get access to the treatment that they need because maybe their condition is rare and, 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 and isn't catered to in the way that it is or can be with larger conditions. Do you know what I think? People... Um that uh, um like hospital sometimes they got that when they don't know um what my condition is. Really? Or they've always you had that never before? heard of it. Not that they haven't. Yeah. Surely they've probably heard of it but I don't know, it feels as if they haven't. Mm. Um sometimes it's and that's also obviously about awareness, but you feel like if you go into hospital people should know what your condition is. Like mm -hmm. In fact, we've got a message from uh, hello from the Can Canary Islands. Two boys with Duchenne hello. and living with a rare disease is very difficult without help. So that can I, I mean, I mean sure we, yeah, we get, we've we've seen it. Uh, the yeah, the difference in 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 condition help for rare diseases can often be uh, something that's very difficult. Uh, you know, in you know from country to country, really. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, what I was also going to say there was. Um, in, in, in fact, coming back to something that you said about uh, diagnosis and about not 
knowing what your condition is. Michaela often says, uh, I don't know if Michaela's still, still tuned in, uh, Michaela often says that one of her doctors says, oh yeah, it's uh, spina bifida you've got, isn't it? <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's the misdiagnosis. Yeah. <laughs> and, and in fact, uh, it was our, our friend Solomon, Solomon Khan, yeah. on many episodes, of it, I, th I think he said he had a carer for a long time was with him and thought that he had cerebral palsy. So, uh, yeah. It's it's not, not what you don't care really. <laughs> not knowing the condition. I think Solomon said you didn't speak to him for a couple of days. Right. Um, but yeah, so looking looking forward, looking ahead, how can things change? Um, the you know rare disease. There's plenty of stuff going on through throughout the community. Um, the ongoing implementation of better, comprehensive approach to rare diseases has led to the development of um, appropriate public health problem policies, um, and 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 essentially that's what people you know. It's why it's really important to keep raising awareness for rare diseases because there are so many, and you know to get the awareness out. No, absolutely. Bit of a serious episode it's all this about week. the awareness <laughs> and getting things together and being positive. That's that's where it's at. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to finish off with a uh, final piece of rare rare pizza. If if you weren't tuned in at the beginning, it's, it's like our rare pizza. Cookie, it's it's cookie cookie, type cookie pizza. chocolate pizza. I don't think Andrew, are you, are you going to have some more? Andrew's going to have a final more. piece. Final uh, piece, yeah. Andrew. Here we go. Uh, Okay. It's alright second time round, apparently. Here, here we go. Well, I think you're the biggest fan. I'm definitely the biggest fan. This is something that, continental. That, by the way, is no surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bit of a sweet tooth. This is Andrew who grew up his whole life uh, not 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 eating sweets or anything like Haribo. No, no it's sweet still tooth, like sweets. <laughs> like chocolate, but not sweets. <laughs> um, the way I am. Okay, so, so it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Uh, we thought we'd just do this as a quick kind of preview for Red Disease Awareness Day on Tuesday. We've got lots of episodes coming out. In fact, two episodes on the day. For more information, you can go to www.reddiseaseday.org. There's lots of different events going on throughout lots of different countries worldwide. And yeah, particularly for the condition that you have, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, one in three and a half thousand people are born with it. That's a rare disease in itself. Yeah. And a lot of people getting involved in loads of different countries. <laughs> it's quite amazing, really. Like, I just yeah. noticed it myself. You know. Made sure Andrew had a read of it earlier, so that he is had a fully, read, yeah. fully aware. And, yeah, we'll be putting out some more information from ourselves on the day, too. But just yeah, some information sure ahead of time. And we thought you, we'd just kind of include you in our bit of kind of Sunday, late, late night, Sunday night pizza eating. Yeah? Yeah. Bit of fun, wasn't it? <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> Thanks everyone for tuning in and hopefully we'll see you all again soon. Thank you very much. See you soon. <laughs>